What's up guys, it's Aiden, and today we're going to go through how Kanye West's All of the Lights was made. Let's get into the video. This beat was produced by Jeff Basker and Kanye West himself, and because this is a sponsored video, the FLP will be available for everyone in the description below for free, as well as Unison's new Beatmaker Blueprint teaser pack, also free, also in the description, which contains 449 free samples, loops, and midis for their upcoming Beatmaker Blueprint pack. So this means 808s, atmosphere sounds, claps, hi-hats, melody loops, melody one-shots, and these are all 100% royalty free, so you have absolutely nothing to lose by downloading this pack. So feel free to download that for free in the description below, as well as the free FLP. Now, let's jump into the remake. First off, I'm pretty sure we have the exact brass preset that Kanye used in the original song. It's going to sound like this. We're going to be playing two different melodies. This is the first one. And this is the second melody. You can find this preset in Blue 2. It's the 023 DX7 Trumpet Joe Mile preset in the Joe Mile 01 bank. It's gonna sound like this without any effects. Then we're adding some multi-band compression, some distortion, some free chorus. So now it's gonna sound like this. That's making it a little bit less raspy and more of like a horn sound. Then we're adding some Ozo 9 Imager to increase the stereo width of the sound to make it wider. Then some more distortion and finally some reverb. So it's going to sound like this. Then we're adding in a cello. Then the brass changes up and we're adding in some chords. So that's gonna sound like this. Then we're adding in a double bass. Just quantize that and average out the volume. Then we're adding one more brass melody. Then we're moving into the chorus. First off, we're adding the brass. Then let's add in the kick. It's gonna sound like this. And that's the exact same kick sample that was used in the original song, which I can prove by comparing the waveforms to the original audio. As you can see, if we compare the kick drum sample to the original song, the waveforms match perfectly, indicating that this is the same kick sample that was used in the original. Then we're adding the snare sample from another Kanye West song. This is the Good Morning snare. Then we're bringing that onto the mixer. And first off, we're adding Parametric EQ2 to act as a low pass filter. Then we're adding some compression and some reverb. So it's gonna sound like this. And in the song. Now let's add in the 808. It's going to sound like this. Then let's go control Q to quantize it and control L so there's no overlapping between 808 notes. Then we're adding this hi-hat loop. Then we're adding in two different snares. The first one's gonna sound like this. And we're playing this pattern. Then this is the second snare pattern. And it starts just before the chorus. And this second snare is one of the reasons why I think this track is so special. So it's going to sound like this without the snare. Then once you add it in, it's going to give the track a lot more movement. Then 
Then we're adding in the same Vox sample from Kanye's Freestyle 4. And we're playing this pattern. Then we have one more pattern coming in. It's going to sound like this. And that's the first chorus, but don't worry, the second chorus goes even crazier. <laughs> but first off, let's move into the first verse. We're gonna be adding in the brass, the kick, the perk, and the hi-hat. So far, it's gonna sound like this. We're making a break here, and this is where the song cuts off. Break. The mastermind. How does he do it? <laughs> Then we're adding in the 808, but we're also adding in a new sound. This is a synth sound from Repro One. And it's playing a similar pattern to the 808. And that's gonna sound like this. Then we're adding a sound from Omnisphere. This is the Maverick Rezo Sign preset, and it's gonna sound like this. Then we're adding reverb to that sound, so we're bringing on Valhalla Room, and we're bringing the reverb mix up to 100%. So all we're going to hear is reverb. So in the song. Then we're adding one more sound before we get into the second chorus. This is a distorted crowd shouting sort of sound. And as you can see, we have duplicated this sound and hit swap stereo because this sound alternates playing from left ear to right. And I know you can do that in the piano roll by going to note properties and changing the pan in the piano roll, but I thought this was a nice visual representation of what's going on. So in the song. Then for the second chorus, as I promised, it's going to go even crazier than the first chorus. So we're going to copy across the first chorus because a lot of that is transferable. But we're going to be deleting the 808 and replacing that with this new 808 and synth. Then we're switching out the snare for one that plays more frequently. As you can see, it's hitting at random points in the song. Then finally, we're adding in the second vox that played just before in the pre-chorus. So all together, it's going to sound like this. Anyway, that's it for the remake. Once again, you can download this FLP for free in the description below, as well as Unison's new Beatmaker Blueprint teaser pack, also in the description, also free. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video, and I will see you guys next time.